everyone and welcome to another episode of Traversing Food. My name is Steve and today we are in Poland where I'll be reviewing this 24 hour or as they call full day package three pack of breakfast, dinner, and supper. I tried to get some information online on why they have each one separate. My guess is is if you're a little closer to camp and you have time to get back you just go back to camp let's say pick up your dinner and head back out in the field instead of having to lug around an SRG all day if you didn't know the SRGs are just a full 24 hour package all together in one but everything together weighs about three and a half pounds total calorie count is 3429 calories this one is menu number two there is also a menu number one the breakfast just has like a canned meat and a pate while the dinner and the supper has a 400 gram main with definitely plenty of food we have a best buy date of november 30th 2018 and more times than not got this from the great people art and nina from foreign mre but even though these are three separate packages, I'm going to try and cram everything into one video. It may be a little long, but that's just the way I want to do it this time and see how everything turns out. So for now, let's get breakfast started. Open this package up, see what we got. First up, got some condensed milk. And 100 grams of a pork and beef luncheon meat. Got 100 grams of a pork liver pate. I can't seem to find out how much this weighs, but we have a cereal and fruit bar, apricot flavor. We have a container of what I believe is black currant jam. Got an accessory pack. Have a package of rye crisp bread. We have a fork, spoon, a little stirring spoon, and a napkin. Let's open up this uh, accessory pack. Have our instant coffee, a vitamin C candy, salt, pepper, a moist towelette, a 10 gram pack of sugar, smells like your standard black tea, another 10 gram pack of sugar. A stick of gum smells like peppermint and a uh, small bag for your trash okay and uh, yeah that's everything got a nice little breakfast just to have things go along a little bit quicker I'm gonna get the, everything onto a tray and have our drinks already made be right back okay our drinks are ready let's check everything out let's start off with the uh, moist towelette and yeah, for uh, those who have watched a lot of my videos, these are ones I just don't care for. Um, gonna use it anyway. They uh, just smell like a lemon cleaning product, and uh, they're made of paper. They're pretty weak, but they do the job. Get some of our uh, crisp bread ready. A little bit beat up. I'm gonna open them off to the side so I don't get crumbs everywhere. Here's five of them. Comes nine to a package. Has a very light rice scent to them. Smells good. Get our uh, pork and beef luncheon meat ready. A little bit of fat on it. That's expected. Smells really good. 
and our uh, pork liver pate. I don't know if you can see them or not, but uh, I don't know if those uh, look like little green spots of mold. But uh, even though they look green, that's just some solidified fat. Check out the cereal bar, or cereal and fruit bar. Had these before. They're pretty good, especially the apricot one. They got a rice paper on each side so it doesn't stick to the package or your fingers. And what I believe is black currant jam, it didn't want to uh, decipher that very well. Yeah, it smells like black currant. All right then, let's get started. Um, first thing I'm gonna check out, this nice big tube of uh, sweetened condensed milk. A lot of people use it uh, probably in their tea and coffee. Yeah, a little bit under pressure there. But anyway, I know a lot of people use it in probably their tea and coffee. But I've always liked to use it on a uh, crisp bread. Yeah, it's really good. You have to save that for a lot of stuff. Check out our coffee. I've had that coffee before. Always enjoyable. I'm going to try out the tea while I'm at it. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good tea. I don't think I'm going to be uh, using any of the sugar today. Let's check out. Our luncheon meat. This is a mix of uh, pork and beef. Mainly pork. I think the beef was like uh, just 19%. Really good flavor. Not too salty. Has a little bit almost of a ham flavor to it. It's not soft enough to be spreadable. Goes very well with the crisp bread. Check out this uh, pork liver pate. Very smooth, very good flavor. Tastes almost exactly like Brunswager, which I really like. This will uh, easily be spreadable. And that also goes very well with the crisp bread. Tastes very good. Give the jam a try. Very good flavor. Not too sweet. I know you probably couldn't tell while it was on my knife. But I'm sure if I uh, spread it out on some of this crisp bread Probably be easier to see the chunks in it. Which you can. Now let's check out this uh, fruit and cereal bar. It's apricot flavor. And you can uh, definitely smell the apricots. That is a... Uh, Nice dense cereal bar. The main cereal is oats. It's also got sunflower seeds in there to give it some texture. Also nice and enjoyable. But 
other than that, got your standard piece of uh, spearmint gum. I'm going to try out this uh, vitamin C candy. Looks like you have had these many times before. And yeah, definitely loaded with vitamin C. Unfortunately, they have a little bit of a cough drop taste to it. I'll still try the gum though. Yeah, it seems like a nice spearmint gum. Not overly sweet. Good flavor. Not overly minty like a lot of gums are. But everything for breakfast overall seemed really good. I enjoyed everything. I'm going to finish probably quite a bit of it. But one thing I always like, I always like getting these big tubes of the uh, sweetened condensed milk. I love this stuff. But for now, I hope you enjoyed the review of breakfast so far. And let's move on to dinner. Okay, and here we are for dinner. And I know what some of y'all are probably thinking right now. What happened to lunch? Well, I know a lot of people are used to breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But a lot of other people, especially in other countries, you know, go by breakfast, which everybody knows that is your first meal of the day. And the noontime meal would be dinner, and your evening meal would be supper. And this is how this ration is based on. It's you got breakfast, dinner, and supper. And sorry if it's a little bit noisy in the background. Got a lot of storms coming through. You might hear rumble of thunder every now and then. You probably hear some rain right now. Let's get this started. And thankfully everything seems okay in this one. First up, a little accessory pack. <laughs> we have our favorite biscuits and, and guess what? They're broke. Can you believe that? We have our flameless ration heater. And we have our sachet of water for our heater. And this is what I kind of actually, you know, a little bit funny in this one. Because these rations are uh, notorious for uh, leakage. Our main is just beat the crap which is a lasagna and I don't see everything smells great not a hole in it but the crackers are broke <laughs> have some utensils we have a chocolate drink with, uh, looks like I said, uh, a little bit of vanilla flavor. And another package of rye crisp bread, which, uh, yeah, pretty much destroyed, but that's okay. I get some decent pieces out of it. It all tastes the same. So, I'm going to get everything out on a tray. Oh, wait, wait. I ain't getting out of everything out on a tray yet. We have a lemon scented moist toilet. Two packages of sugar. A tea bag. Instant coffee. Piece of gum. Our vitamin C candy, salt, pepper, and a little plastic bag for our trash. Okay, now I'm going to get everything out onto a tray. Okay, here's everything laid out. I tried to uh, get a little mane back into shape. Seems okay. Um, if I didn't mention it, this uh, main is uh, 400 grams. And I will have some tea. But uh, I had coffee for breakfast. I'm going to save this for some other time. Just like the gum and the candy. Tried them at breakfast. They're okay. And I highly doubt I'll need any sugar. But I will have the hot chocolate. 
say before I get everything dumped in, I'm going to get our main started heating. This one's pretty easy, takes the guesswork out. Just put your uh, main in the pouch and uh, pour in your water. It's already pre weighed. I don't know how quick these start. But it says to go for 12 minutes. And there we go. Okay, our man is about done. I want to check out this hot chocolate mix. Smells really nice. Just calls for 150 mils of water. Well, that smells really rich. That smells great. All right, let me get some of these uh, crisp bread out and our biscuits. Well, I don't know what to say. The uh, the best I could do was get pieces of crisp bread. Biscuits, which are oddly enough, you know, broke. I'm shocked. And yeah, it's uh, pretty darn hot. Being 400 grams and lasagna, I'm probably going to keep it in the container and not try and dump it out into the tray. Let's get this opened up, see what it looks like. Smells pretty good. Got your ground meat in there. I believe most of it's pork. See a little bit of pasta sticking through. Tomatoes. Doesn't seem to be a heavy uh, tomato sauce. But our tea should be ready. But since it's just uh, our main with crackers and crisp bread. Well, I don't have to really worry about any sides, so I'm just going to dig right in. This looks like you got layers of pasta. Looks like the pasta is on the bottom, and they just put like a uh, meat sauce on top. I'm going to try the pasta on its own.
It's a little bit soft, but I kind of expected that. It has good flavor. It's not really salty. Try the meat sauce on its own. That also has a decent flavor to it. Not very heavy on the uh, spices. You can taste a little bit of the tomato, onion. Seems like there's some uh, red bell pepper in there. Overall, not bad. It has a pretty good flavor to it. It's not overly salty. Has a, a nice little peppery finish. But you know I like that. I'm going to give our hot chocolate a try. Wow, that's really good. It's nice and rich. You can taste that little hint of vanilla. It's not overly sweet, but just sweet enough to where it just tastes really good, nice and rich. And the tea. It's just a really good black tea. Had it at breakfast. But yeah, you know I'll give them a try. I really do like the flavor of those. Got that hint of caraway in the background. Always a good flavor. But, yeah, I'll still try some crisp bread with it. What the heck. Add some texture to it, but now you just basic, basically got a uh, rye flavored lasagna, which is okay, I guess. But I hope you enjoyed this review of dinner. I know everything's really good. I just didn't expect lasagna with, you know, a Polish ration, which means I know I'm going to really enjoy supper because that's got a uh, stew with kielbasa. I know I'm going to like that. And oddly enough, I don't think I've had that before. So until then... I'll see you at supper. And here we are with supper, our last meal of the day. I'm really going to enjoy this one. This one has bigos for main. Basically, it's a uh, hunter stew with uh, it's like a stew with cabbage, and I believe the meat in this one is going to be kielbasa. I really enjoy stuff like that. Always have. Hopefully, like dinner. Everything came out okay. These large 400 gram mains can uh, get pretty beat up and damaged. But let's see how it looks. All right, right off the bat, we have our flame of thrashing heater, our sachet of water that comes with it. And our main, well, maybe not yet. Let's see if we can get it out. It is not as beat up as the one from dinner, but everything came out okay. Makes me quite happy. Have our accessory pack. A nice large bar of chocolate, 60%. This is really good. I've had that before. Our utensils and another pack of our rye crisp bread and that's everything in the pouch I'm sure everything's gonna be the same in our accessory pack but you know me I'm gonna check anyway there's our gum our instant coffee two 10 gram packs of sugar Salt, pepper, which I'm sure I'll probably use this time, moist towelette, tea bag, and our vitamin C candy, and our little plastic bag for our trash. I know I forgot to mention it. Our main is 400 grams, and our chocolate bar. Our chocolate bar is 100 grams. 
and our crisp bread is also 100 grams. So let's get everything onto a tray and let's get started. And here's everything ready to go. I'm not going to have my piece of gum or my candy today. But I am going to use some sugar in my coffee and tea. I just feel like having some today. The only thing I noticed, spoon took some damage. That's okay. So let's get this main started. The, uh, the one from dinner worked really well. I mean, it wasn't very aggressive, but it got really hot and stayed that way for a long time. So these pouches are uh, pretty thick. Okay, our main is about finished heating up. Our tea and coffee is ready. I'm gonna get some of this crisp bread out. Yeah, four pieces. Check out this chocolate bar. It's kind of broke a little bit. But not a single thing has bloomed. Always a great sign. I'm just going to get a small piece of it out. I'm going to save the rest of it for uh, someone who I uh, know wants to try it. So let's get our main ready. And here's our main. Nice and hot. Had it going for about 15 minutes. Way more than the uh, tray, can, tray compartment can hold. So I'll probably just eat it out of the tin. Let's get this opened up. And I can smell the cabbage and sauerkraut from here. And it looks like I'm going to need a spoon. Since this one's, uh, you know, like I said, a little bit uh, beat up and damaged. Just going to get something out of backup. Worked just fine. I, mean, I can definitely smell onions. I can see them. You can smell the cabbage. Sauerkraut. Here's the uh, here's a nice chunk of kielbasa. It's like a bunch more down on this end. Man, it's just uh, smells really good. I'll take a sip of coffee really quick. Yeah. Really good coffee. I put some sugar in it this time. Tastes great. But let's try out this main. Looks like a lot of uh, cabbage, sauerkraut mixed up there. And that tastes so good. It's not very sour. Some people would think it's got both cabbage and sauerkraut in it. That would be really sour. It's not. It does have a slight sourness to it. But it's very pleasant. I also tasted a lot of chunks of bacon in there. And if you're wondering uh, what the uh, little pieces are, yeah, it's little chunks of bacon. But yeah, this is a uh, this is very good. Has a little bit of a tomato flavor to it. I'm going to uh, check out one of these chunks of kielbasa. That also has a really good flavor to it. You can tell it's kielbasa. Not overly salty. Very good flavor. Seems like everything in this is great. I believe, if this is a piece, I believe there's mushrooms in here too. I don't know if that's one or not. Go and check. No, actually, that was a chunk of beef. Very good. You can, uh, there is uh, just plenty of pieces of kibbutz in here. I mean, 
plenty of food, really good, very enjoyable. I'm going to try some on the crisp bread. The rye flavor of the crisp bread goes really well with that main. Very enjoyable. And as always, a really nice black tea. Not going to eat any salt. I'm sure pepper will go with this really well. I'll probably dump some in there after I turn the camera off and uh, finish eating this. Let's try out a chocolate. Nice dark chocolate. Very nice dark chocolate. Like I said, it's just just sweet enough to where it's not bitter. I, mean, I think if you go past 60%, you start getting a little bit too bitter. But 60, 70% for dark chocolate, that is my favorite. But as for now, that's going to do for supper. It's very enjoyable. I'm definitely going to finish this. As for where we're going to head next, I do believe I'm going to take a trip over to Czechoslovakia. But overall, this Polish all-day package for breakfast, dinner, and supper was very enjoyable. Really wasn't expecting a lasagna for dinner, but it was very enjoyable. And I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.